everyone, welcome back to my channel. I feel like it's been forever since I've uploaded, but I'm so glad that you're here. And if you're new here, welcome. I'm gonna be talking about all things teething. And if you're a new mom, or if you have two, three kids and you already know about teething, I'm sure you can relate to the struggles of teething. It is definitely hard for the little ones when they have their teething gums, they really hurt. So I'm gonna share with you some of our favorite products that have worked for us and some natural medicines to gel, to uh, droplets, I guess you could call them, to teethers, you name it. I'm gonna share that with you in this video and these are our favorite products. So it's probably gonna be about 10 different things that I'm gonna share with you. So I wanna get right into the video, but before we get into talking about teething, don't forget to hit that red subscribe button below, like this video if you like it. And again, I'm so glad that you guys are here supporting my channel. And please comment below, you know, once you, if you um, watched a part of this video or if you've watched all of it and you have any other recommendations for me, let me know because Eli is still teething. Um, and if you're new here, I do have two baby, two babies in my eyes. They're still babies. I have a almost three-year-old in two weeks and I have my one-year-old baby boy. So he is actually going through getting his... Um, one year molars up here so right now he currently has eight teeth plus he has molars coming in so he's a little bit fussy at times but these products have really helped them so i can definitely talk from uh experience and also check me out on pieces of jade uh, my instagram page i post a lot of stuff there uh, mainly there and youtube is where i post the majority of my stuff i also have a facebook page if you want to check that out too same name there. So let's get right into talking about teething. So to start off with, I want to talk about probably my favorite product of what I'm going to be talking about. These are Camellia Homopathic Medicine Painful Gums Irritability, but this is going to help with teething relief. They are amazing. This is actually a fresh, fresh pack. So, oops, did not mean for that to come off. So I will open it for you. So I get this on Amazon, it's about $10 a box, but they last for a long time and it comes in these little packets. And if you open it, it has um, several of these here, about looks like five of these. And you just cut the tip off and you put it in their mouth and it's completely natural. And I definitely notice a, different, I will, a difference. I will usually give these to Eli um, right before his nap time or before bed and I, immediately see a, di a difference. Um, so you can give these literally two or three times a day, maybe even more than that. But it temporarily relieves symptoms of teething, including painful gums and irritability. And just so you know, you snap off one single dose, twist it open, squeeze the entire one of those little things into the baby's mouth. Um, and it says repeat as needed every 15 minutes for two more doses. If or when symptoms return, repeat these dosage instructions for up to a total of nine doses a day. I have never given him that much. I think the most I've done is like maybe three times a day, but I cannot swear by these enough. I will link everything in the description box below. And um, yeah, this is probably, this, this is 30 doses. This is probably my top teething product. And if you're interested in um, natural remedies, this is my go-to. Sorry if you can definitely tell that I'm sunburned right now because I'm filming this in the afternoon and I went to the park with my kids this morning and I was literally only there for an hour and I got sunburn. I think it's time to get out the sunscreen this year. My skin is so sensitive. I feel like the older I get. Um, so and my, my makeup actually has sunscreen in it so I'm good there so the next thing I'm going to talk about is another medicine this is non-medicated cooling gel for teething this is by baby aura gel they have tons of different um, companies that make this this is just the one that we get that's that works for us but this is uh, benzocaine free oops benzocaine free um, it's a daytime and nighttime pack um, for babies three plus months so it just comes with two tubes. You have one for daytime and one for nighttime. I usually, it came with this. This is just like a little um, little gel thing, kind of like looks like a pacifier, but you can put the gel on it and put it on their teeth. And you just put it in there and like massage it into their gums and let them bite on this and it immediately works. 
Again, you can give this to them. I just, I don't do it no more than a couple times a day, honestly. And it doesn't have the directions on here, but basically, oh yes it does. Um, apply to affected area up to four times a day. But as always, <laughs> I always like to mention, always consult your pediatrician if you have any questions or anything like that. I'm just sharing with you from my experience, my favorite products. Um, or you can even, if you wash your hands, uh, obviously you wanna wash your hands, put a little bit on your finger I've done and I just kind of massage it to kind of get back into his gums and massage it into his gums so I know that he's getting the most relief from it. But this is definitely one of our go-tos. And like I said, it comes with this little teether, but you can really use any teether and put the medicine on there if you want or just apply it to your finger. So the next product that I want to talk to you about is this little mitten by Itsy Ritsy. And it also like makes a crinkling noise. Eli doesn't use this as much, but when he first started teething, he loved this. But you just put it on their hand and they just kind of move it around in their mouth and gnaw on it. And it's, this one's super cute. It's a little cactus. I got this from Target, um, but I'll insert a picture here of him. He used to go to town on this. So, I mean, you could still use it as a one-year-old, you know, when they're teething. But this is, I think, more for, you know, four plus months, maybe even three months. But as soon as you start noticing any type of teething coming in, I mean, three months, depending on your baby, all babies are different. Eli didn't even get his first couple of teeth until he was, I want to say he was like seven months. My daughter got her first teeth at four months. So it really just depends on your baby. But I think, I mean, they like to chew on stuff. So three or four months, you could probably start using that. The next thing I want to mention is this is by Munchkin. You can put, um, frozen breast milk in this, frozen formula, or you can maybe, um, I've put bananas in it before or frozen fruit and they just kind of gnaw on it and it really feels nice and cool on their gums. And you know, if they're, depending on what age you're gonna do it, the younger obviously you probably wanna stick to formula or breast milk, but um, as they get older, like I said, you can put fruit in this or whatever you think that your baby would like and this is I mean, it's kind of messy to clean but it is so worth it and it just gives them instant relief plus they have a lot of fun you can just sit them in their high chair and they can gnaw on this and they just go to town on it the next thing that i want to mention is teethers that they can um gnaw on i say gnaw reminds me of a dog but i guess bite on um just to soothe their gums there's just something about that biting feeling. I don't know if you've ever had like maybe a toothache or your gum hurts. Sometimes when you apply pressure to it, it makes it feel better. So that's the same thing with babies. That's why they always wanna bite on stuff. But this is just a cute little dinosaur that's rubbery. I got this on Amazon and it came with this little teether here and that you can basically just uh, clip onto them. You can clip on a pacifier as well. So they can always have this when you're on the go traveling and one side is textured and you can put this in your little sanitizer or whatever you have quick easy to go put it in your bag and this is um, a must have for on the go and he seems to really like that that as well even even as a one-year-old but all these products we've been using for at least the last six months so the next thing <laughs> i actually got him because i'm obsessed with like wooden toys like wooden everything but this is just like a little rattle and I got this early on for him just to play with, you know, babies like rattles, but he actually loved just biting on this and putting it on his mouth. It, it looked like it felt really good to him. So that's why I'm <laughs> putting it in this video because he seems to love this rattle. I don't know what it is. I don't know what, why a baby would like wood or feel good on their gums, but my baby loves it. So any type of rattle that you think that you know, they make tons of them with different material, um, the jelly material, things like that. And they can also play with it. So like multi-purpose teethers are a must. Um, and of course that one is super cute. The next item that I wanna share with you is very traditional. This is just a traditional teething ring, but it works for us. You stick it in the freezer and it gets all nice and cold and he will sit and gnaw on this for hours. Um, not as much anymore, but you know, as a one-year-old, I feel like the medicine is more of my go-to. He still loves, he all, he loves his pacifier, his binky, um, and he likes to gnaw on these little beads because we have tons of these 
that we hook up to his pacifier but early on um he loved loved this so i definitely highly recommend get a couple of these stick them in your freezer so you can have one at all times in your freezer the next item that's super popular i want to talk about is sophie the giraffe so this is another multi-purpose teether plus toy he loves gnawing on this thing he is <laughs> i can't, i don't know what it is <laughs> every time i say gnawing i'm like there has to be a better word for that biting nibbling <laughs> whatever you want to say he loves this little sophie giraffe it's just you know if your mom you probably know what the sophie giraffe is makes noises my toddler always wants to steal this from him but i would say that this is runs about 25 dollars, so it's pretty expensive it took me a while to buy it but i took the plunge and i bought it and i think it, i think it um was well worth it um and he loves to play with it as well okay a couple more items i want to mention um uh, i'll say the last few uh that i that are less common to, for the end but the next one i talk to you about i forget the brand of this but this is just like a little berry it looks like a strawberry little pacifier and this is another thing i've put the, the gel on and kind of soothe his teeth um you can even kind of you know dip it in like formula or breast milk and they just like to nibble on it and I don't know what it is about like the texture of it but they absolutely love it my daughter loved this one too and you know i will hook it up to a, a pacifier clip and it, they seem to like it so and it's super inexpensive got it on amazon i think it's like five maybe four or five dollars for this um but i highly recommend like a texturized like pacifier Okay, the last few items I'm going to mention are not your traditional teething items, but I think that they definitely have made a difference in our teething journey. Um, one of them is this necklace. I actually got this um, from a family member of mine, but yeah, it's actually not for them. I'm supposed to wear it, and your baby, you know, obviously, they're always, you know, on you, and especially when they're teething, they are literally glued to you. I don't know about you, but my son is literally when he that's how i know he's teething because he just doesn't want to play he just wants me to hold him all the time and and stuff like that well he can literally just play with this and bite on it and this material i don't really know what it's called but it's just like a rubbery material and most of the teething stuff is made with this material so it so it must be a specific material that the babies really like because he seems to like it pretty well plus it's kind of stylish um I haven't really used it too often. A few times when I have gone to like the mall or maybe if I go to the grocery store or something like that, I've worn it just to kind of have it handy and it's on me um, to kind of distract him and he can they can just pick it up. Of course, things like this, you want to make sure you, I have a sanitizer, a coral UV sanitizer, which I'll link it below too, but all of these things you can stick right inside that's any type of sanitizer that you have and you want to make sure that you do that because they're obviously it's going to be in the mouth a lot um but this seems to feel really good on his gums last but not least this is not something that you bite on or anything like that but this is an amber necklace this was also given to me by a family member and i honestly was really skeptical about these because i didn't really understand it but um, I did some research on it and it's basically made out of um, amber and it's supposed to help soothe when they're teething um, you obviously you put it around their neck and or you can put it up make it a bracelet or an anklet whatever you really want to do with it but I put it around my kids necks and I do notice a difference in how fussy they are now of course you want to use this in conjunction with what maybe one of the camellia medicine or any you know your favorite homeopathic medicine um, or gel um, but I really think if you use it with it it definitely does the trick and I definitely notice them being less fussy um, with my daughter I use this a lot with Eli um, I have used it but I feel like you know every baby's different I feel like it worked better with my daughter um, I noticed more of a difference with her but it's definitely worth trying if you have heard about these but you're not really sure I would say go ahead and try you never know what you're what's going to work for your baby so those are all the items that I love for teething and that has worked for us I really hope you guys enjoyed this video again let me know in the comments below if you have a favorite item I would love to try it because I 
Eli still has quite a few more teeth to come in, so we have not finished our teething journey. But yeah, I hope you guys liked this video. Don't forget to hit that red subscribe button, and I will see you in my next one. Bye, loves.